Okay, welcome back from the special program today. Did you learn something today? You know, right after I come to come back to my room, you know, I see my voice is a little bit, you know, going down. But, you know, I still try my best to share something for you today because I feel very happy because today I stand in front of you, very, very enthusiastic person on ready for learning English. That's why I come back to my room and sharing something so that you can learn something from me or you can, you know, to remind something, help you to remember something from this program. And it's also for another person who cannot join in the program today. And because the, the, the seat is limited and they, come, they came late and they don't have enough seat and then they came back. And yes, so that's why I want to share with you about something we did today. The first thing, okay, I share, I said many people like Mr. Das sharing you about passion. So, what is passion? Do you remember the story? All right, I will tell you the story again. In a village, there are two guys, and these two guys make a competition. He make a competition about who can have a more beautiful bird. A beautiful bird will be the winner in one year. And the story start like this. One bird named Jim. Jim is a man. Oh no, one man named Jim. And Jim tried to search for the bird. And then he caught a bird. A very, very small bird. And a very small bird, and then he tried to feed one day, two day, one week, two week. The birds grow, grow, and grow a little bit. And after that, he see that wow, this car bird cannot, you know, sing very well. So he tried to search for another bird. He tried to find, oh, I need a more beautiful bird to win the competition. I need more beautiful one and each other search and search and search and after searching he come back to look back at his bird he don't know why but his bird already died you know why because he focused on searching for another bird and when searching for another bird he didn't care about his bird and that's why the bus die because of thirsty, because of hungry. Okay. And what happened? The other bird see that wow, that's guy, Jim, doesn't care about his birth. He said, but not a good, you know, a birth owner. A very terrible one. And right after that, the other bird see him with a very very you know like an enemy so every birth every birth come to them and see him and come to him and see him they always fly away of course Jim will never find another birth again now talk about another man his name John John is a, a competitor of Jim but this guy, he tried to search for a birth at the beginning, and when he gets a small birth, he also feed the birth. But after one week or two weeks, he still keep continue focus on feeding the birth. And when the birth grow up, he's, he he try to you know teach the birth how to sing very well, very naturally, and after two years three years, no, two months, three months, and then the other say, wow, such a beautiful birth, such a lucky birth, because he has a owner, he's very awesome owner, and the other birds try to fly, and fly, and fly to him, and one day, because of his love for his current love, current birth, the other birth come and there's a, a very beautiful 
and big birth, you know, stand in his shoulder. And then, wow, such a beautiful one. This time, what, what did James do? What did John do? John bring the birth and find another person who also have passion a lot for feeding bird. And he said, please catch it, take it. And you must to take care of this bird as I'm taking, I take care of it. And the other person said, yes, I will do that. And the customer so wonderful. And this time, come back to John. John takes the birth, a beautiful, more beautiful birth, with more color and bigger and singing better. And he causes and then try to feed the birds with 100% focus, with his love. And this bird also grow up and sing much better and better. And after one year, the competition of the, you know, the game came. And of course, John became winner. So, what lesson can you learn about this? Many people thinking, many people think about English, they try to go on Google, and then they search, they search the best methods for learning English. And after one day, they find a great method because many people say, oh, this is a good method. And they try to learn, 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 learn. Only after one day, two days, one week, two weeks, they say, oh, let's keep on searching on the internet and say the best method for learning English. And they find, find another method from another, from another person. And then, oh, this method, and they give it away. Continue doing that, and it take no time for focusing, no time for learning something really special, really great time. So for you, you know why? Why I'm saying that? You know, at English, English, he only one, he only one methods of learning English, and I said to you that. Methods is only 20% of success. So, what is the thing we do here? We try to add all the other, uh, the other thing like energies, emotion, and effortlessly by himself. And Jacob already got a lot of emotion, you know, psychology in this lesson. So that's why effortlessly can be very powerful. So, even effortlessly, you, you really see that it's powerful, but what do you do? Focus on the birth. Take care of your birth. Totally 100%. And then you will master it. You will become successful with effortless English. Can you do that? Yes, I think so. So, take action for that. Not joking. Not joking. But that is the truth. That is the you understand? Okay, so what I want to I want to share with you next, you know, about the story of uh, you know there are men working in the desert, and what during working in desert he tried to walk and walk and walk from the day to the night, and when the night come. It's very dark. He cannot see anything. And he still walk, walk, and walk. Suddenly, he fall down into the hole. Wow. And when he fall down to the hole, he cannot climb up. He cannot do anything. Even he very cold. Because you know, at night, the desert is very, very cold. And you know, he tried to sleep, but he cannot sleep. And luckily, the next day come, and the sun, the sun come, come, and then there is some kind of you know, I don't know how to say that. That's but you know, a kind of bird, and this bird waiting to eat him when he die. You know that bird, right? Yes. Okay. 
So, deep bird looking for his this man, but you know he's still alive. And after waiting, the bird don't know what to do, and then they, <laughs> what is what what is that? You know that okay? They he the many bird shit on this guy. After that, wow! Well, at the beginning is too terrible. <laughs> oh my god! But after one minute, after one day, you know, after the day, you know, the, 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 the street coming up to his face, like this. And after that, after that, at the beginning he feel very terrible, very bad smell, oh my god. But when the day, when the night come, the weather is going down and down, you feel Wow, something here is very warm, but the up part is still cold. So, he see that the benefit of the sheet, and he enjoy it, and he tried to, oh, this warm, so he keep it, okay, and he slept, slept. And the next day, it happened again. It come up to here. Wow! Such a very, you know, useful thing. He realized, wow, she also have a meaningful for him at this time. And enjoy being warm with the part, the shit going up. Okay, so, it's in terrible, right? But after that, one day, two day, when the the bird or the continue shooting, and after that, wow, he feel very comfortable. He enjoyed it, and one day, I don't know why, he's so hungry, so thirsty. Finally, he died. Why? Why does a man die? For why? For what? Because. He will only focus on the benefit of being warm with the sheets of the bird. Ah, terrible. But what is that meaning about? What is the story about? You know that, right? This is about the comfort zone. Everybody have that too. You have problem. I have problem. Everyone have problem. But when we have problem, don't keep it so warm for you. Don't keep it so long and, and don't enjoy the benefit of being warm like that. Why don't you set up and find another way? Go get out of your comfort zone and do something make more meaningful for you. Understand? Yes. So... For English, you also like that. English, you also like that. If you learn English and you didn't take action because just because you are lazy, you enjoy with the, you know, on the bed. Because the weather cold, you can wake up and you say, wow, very warm here. I don't, I'm not kidding. But sometimes, all of us always enjoy the shit. Because it keep me keeping us warm. Not joking, but it's true. So what do we need to do? We need to step back, step up, and off the sheet and get up, take some action, do something, change, do something better. That is the thing, very important thing. Okay. So point rich also. Wake up in early in the morning, learn something. Or do something that make you change. And you know English, so important English is. So I hope that you can do this well too. Okay? So I hope that the true story already have you. So firstly, about passion. Secondly, about what? About comfort zone. Okay? Focus on what you are doing, what is person. One time we only can focus on one thing we cannot 
stay here, okay, learning some subject on the on on the class and still you know thinking about English and you cannot focus. It will take time. Focus on the class, and then what? When you finish the class, enjoying with English, playing with English, learning English effortlessly. Okay, that's very awesome. Secondly, get out of the comfort zone. Do something meaningful. Do something better. Do something you know a little bit feel uncomfortable. At the beginning, you feel uncomfortable, but you that will make you to grow up. The bigger okay your comfort zone is, the more successful you are. You understand me? Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Jason. Come from Empowering English Group, and I hope that I will share something more for you. Please wait for me. I will come back soon. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Bye bye.